When I was a kid studying the violin, Leonard Bernstein was already a living legend. I was about 10 when I first saw him conduct on television, and like everyone else, I was inspired by his energy and enthusiasm. Unfortunately, I never even shook his hand, even though he spent a lot of time at the university in my hometown of Bloomington, Indiana. A lot of my friends got to meet him, but I was too shy back then to introduce myself to the great man. I always figured that someday I'd get to play with him. He was one of those people I thought would live forever. Bernstein was a risk-taking kind of musician. In this program, he croaks out a Beatles song to illustrate musical form. Perhaps he's a better conductor than he is a singer, but he makes his point and the audience loves it. Bernstein appreciated all kinds of music and threw them all into the mix. He never thought about the idea of crossover. Music was music, and he did it seamlessly. There was nothing to cross. Now, all these years later, I can play bluegrass and Beethoven together on the same program because Bernstein was there first. Now let's see how this simple little construction grows in size when it's used in a slightly larger song form, say, a modern popular song. In fact, most pop tunes stick to this ABA pattern very strictly. The only difference here, and this is important as you'll see later, is that usually the first A section is repeated right away before the B section comes so that the pattern is really A-A-B-A -A -A, instead of just A-B-A. -A. But it's still made out of those same three parts, A-B-A, -A, only the first part is played twice in a row. That's not hard. Uh, let's take a, a pop tune. In fact, let's take a typical Beatles tune and see what happens. Uh, here first, there's an A section. I give her all my love, that's all I do. And if you saw my love, you'd love her too. I love her. That's A, all right? That's what's... <laughs> now, now what happens? That A section is repeated exactly the same. She gives me everything and tenderly and so on right down to and I love her. That's the end of the repeated A section, right? Right. Now comes the contrasting B section. A love like ours could never die. I think that's how it goes. As long as I have you near me. That's the B. And that brings us back again to the original A section in all its glory. Bright are the stars that shine. Dark is the night. And so on right to the end of the piece. Well, that... <laughs> that... That represents a small step forward from Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. It's small, but it's a step. 